This video is going to show you how to drop pins on your map. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open a map. So we'll come over here to coverage map. We'll click on that. And then to drop pins, all we need to start doing is click here on this add button and then select pins and then go to drop one by one. So there are two different ways that we can drop pins. The first one is we can just zoom in. So let's say that we want to zoom in here to Provo and we'll click and a pin will drop. And then you'll notice over here on the left hand sidebar that the data set name will appear there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep clicking to drop all the pins that I want. Okay, and then I can just continue to click on all the places. I can zoom in to get more specific. So if I wanted to say at a certain park or something like that, I could easily do that by zooming in. And then once I'm done, I just click right here on this done button. And there you go. Now we've created a data set using drop pins. Now the only difference between this data set and one that you would upload from a spreadsheet is that this data set technically is not part of your data set library. However, if this is a data set that you're going to use frequently across multiple maps, then it would be best to click here on this drop down menu and select save to data set library so that you've got this saved for future use. And that's how easy it is to create data sets by dropping pins one by one using Mapline.